Hello. <laughs> well, I have just recovered from food poisoning. The jelly at that market done me. One gone? No. I want to go to Rainbow Mountain tomorrow. I take back everything I said about the market. Be careful in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that jelly's done me bad. We had to go to the Rainbow Mountain yesterday and oh, that was hard. I nearly didn't go and I actually shouldn't have gone. Imagine doing four hours there, four hours back with a dodgy stomach. Every time they stop, just darting straight for the toilet. Falling asleep like all the time on the way there and on the way back, I was just completely screwed. Proper done me. I was proper trying not to be sick in the cab as well. And um, to be honest with you, I don't know if it's because I'm ill, But I just wouldn't recommend even bothering with Rainbow Mountain. It just seemed a bit like a tourist trap, to be honest. I was gonna tell you all about it, why the colors are the way they are, how they found it, when they found it, you know, all the facts and that about it that's interesting. We turned up there, he basically sent us up the mountain. I couldn't walk, I got on the back of a motorbike and he took me up there for 70 solids. Cheetah. But he basically just said, off you go. And then we just went up there, we took our photographs. There was heaps of people up there. There's a few people with llamas. They were trying to sell you overpriced food and drink. You take your photograph. Then he says, right, we've got to be back down by the cab at midday. And he just fucks off. And it's like, well, dude, I don't even know what I'm looking at, man. Like, what is, what even is all this? And like, you're not a guide, are you? You're just taking us here. I just thought it was shit. Just the millions of people just like, getting in front of each other, trying to get a photograph and trying to get the best photograph of where it looks like there's no one else there. It was just shit. I wouldn't recommend it. If you've seen pictures of it, you've basically seen it, you've done it. Where are we going? Where's our hotel? Gone past it? I'm not going up them steps. We were meant to go to the Amazon last night. But we didn't go because we both felt, felt so terrible after that coach ride. It's cool, Boo. Gracias. Gracias. Everything is miles away. You're looking at eight hours on a coach per day to do anything around here. That's the cheapest one yet. What was it? Two soles. For that? Yeah. Is the lid cracked? Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, you can actually get... I've been moaning this whole time about the price of the water here because we've been paying... We've been paying like anywhere from one one pound to one pound eighties worth for a bottle of water, one litre bottles. But Nat's just found this, two solids for a big 1.5 litre bottle. So you can get it. You've just got, to, just got to shop around. There's so many places trying to rip you off here. It's fucking insane. So I know if you've seen, if you've seen our other videos on the channel, you'll know that I've spoken about being burnt out before and traveling too quickly, doing too much too quickly and just getting completely knackered. It's very tiring having to, arrange all your accommodations and tours and places you're going to go and a transport and food where you're going to eat and all this sort of jazz it, it, you've got to constantly be working out the situation as you go which is the whole fun of traveling but here it's it's, it's very difficult you've got to take your time with it and because it's very easy to burn out we were completely burnt out yesterday Nat was even crying last night like after that eight hours on the bus all day and going to rainbow mountain because she was just so exhausted so, oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hello, hi. hi we met these guys earlier. <laughs> Mona and uh, Charlene. Charlene, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, and yeah. Charlene. That's it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys heading over to the aqua? Oh, right. I lost complete track of thought there. We met them in one of the shops earlier, and they're pretty cool chicks. They're uh, chicks. I never said chicks. <laughs> they're cool chicks. I said chicks. It's because they're American and they, you know, no, they're cool. They're cool people. Like they, we, they were took. I'm, I'm not really into the whole crystals and stuff. Um, I don't really understand it, but they were talking to us about them and like what they do and stuff. And I'm quite interested. I'm quite open-minded with these things. So I'm gonna. We're gonna go up and have a little look at the lady's um, little stall. Where she has all the crystals, little bracelets and stuff. Now crystals, something I don't really know a lot about. So I don't. I can't really believe in it. But Natalia has got a success story from these crystals. What crystals was it that your your friend is wearing? I don't know. A blue crystal. They're blue. So my my colleague, she has arthritis and she wore a bracelet blue, that's blue. And she had it on for two days. On the third day, she was able to close her hands for the first time in ages. Michelle, if you're watching this, it's about you, baby girl. 
baby girl. So yes, do they work? I don't know. Those, the, the, the ladies we met earlier, 100% believe they work. So I'm gonna go and find this lady. We're gonna go and ask her and see, see, what, see what crystals I need. Apparently you get three wishes over here as well. Let's go and look. Here we go, we've got, the, we've got the old crystals here. I don't know which one does which. I don't know how much they are either. How are you supposed to know? You meant to just look this stuff up. Obsidian stone. Obsidian. Sacred. The Incas. The Incas. The God. It's an obsidian stone, is good for me, apparently. It's a black stone. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, okay. So, what, 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 what's the benefit of these? Uh, protection too. Protection? Yeah. I already am good at protecting myself. What, what is for, um, for money? Rich. Rich. <laughs> the black one does look coolest. Citrine. 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 That's for richness. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. So this is this is for money? Yes. For money and greed and all bad things. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Inside, you don't say it out loud. Yes, okay. Finished. I've done it now. Yeah. I've got one more. All right. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You're not called nothing. No. No, no, no. It's two seconds. Yeah, it's my secret, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. I won't tell you. <laughs> this one that's getting gives her love and protection. No, I already give you love and protection. Why have you got that one? Because I like the colours. I like the colours. Do you have one? Yeah. Very pretty. Very pretty, isn't it? There we go. I've got all sorts of... This gives me all sorts of everything, really. Money and justice and protection and... Yeah, I'm in. They've got this, this, this here. That is a famous corner, a famous spot for a photograph in here in Cusco. And there's obviously a man there with his camera waiting. Uh, it says the camera de, camera de vigilancia, which means, I don't know. Are you allowed to take your own photos? Probably not because the geezer's there with his camera selling photographs of you on the, uh, you and the, fancy corner that everyone gets to photograph at in Cusco like a, a bit like Rainbow Mountain really actually so there we go there's the crystal lady she's got all sorts of crystals and she tells you what each of them mean we uh we found one that was tailor-made to suit me and she's right by this look at this the aqueducts pretty cool looking pretty cool looking spot that's where obviously where the locals like to hang out and chill and do whatever they gotta do here. In fact, everyone's just getting photos here.